Hey everybody, Remy here. Um, so I've wanted to do a vlog type video for a while, and I guess one of the things I wanted to talk about was uh, the story of how I got into science fiction and fantasy. And basically what it boils down to is tabletop games. You know, like, for example, with science fiction, my dad was a truck driver. And one day, there was, like, all these Warhammer 40,000 figurines that the companies didn't want. Nobody was taking them. Nobody wanted them. So he thought, why not bring them home? And he did. And I had been playing the game for a while. Well, I was playing the game for a while. I don't know what happened to the miniatures, and it's not like I can just get new ones because they're fucking expensive as fuck. <laughs> um, anybody who knows Warhammer would know that. Trust me, it is fucking expensive. But, anyways. I, uh, got so interested in the world of Warhammer. Nerd! Nerd! You goddamn nerd! I got so interested in the world of Warhammer that I ended up reading all these books and stuff of the mythos and the lore and the stories within that universe and everything like that. In fact, um, there was this book I owned that I read the entirety of in middle school. It was, uh, Conquest of Armageddon, and one of the things I remember about that book was how there were three sections of the books with a few chapters each in them, each of the sections being called No Pity, No Remorse, and No Fear. So, I got into science fiction because of that, which got me into Alien and Aliens, and ever since I became a huge fan of the Alien trilogy, and, well, yeah, the Alien series in general. The thing that got me into fantasy? Same thing, tabletop games. Dungeons and Dragons. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what that game is. For those of you who don't know what that is, because I... Because, yeah, I'm wrong, because there were a couple people that didn't know what it was, or at least didn't, just didn't know much about it. It's pretty much a shared storytelling experience, where it's pretty much the dungeon master telling most of the story, but then you interact with that story via saying, say, uh, I say I pick lock the chest in the empty room. I have to roll the die, the d20, to see if I succeed at that. And then there was Lord of the Rings, the books in the movies, and Harry Potter, and all this cool stuff. And, uh, Funny thing, when Netflix was just a, like a DVD delivery service, I was actually looking for a movie about like slaying dragons, because that's how nerdy I was as a kid, and probably still am nerdy to this day. <sighs> no way, we'll get into better light, better lighting. <laughs> so I was looking for a movie about like dragon slaying and all that stuff when uh let's turn on light here I came across this movie literally called Dragon Slayer and 
I just fell in love with the movie. I absolutely fell in love with it. From what I remember, it was about a with it was a long, long time ago that I saw this movie. Um from what I remember, it was a wizard's apprentice whose master just recently died. And he goes to this village and they have like this um I think weekly or monthly or annual theme or something like that where each of those times they pick from a lottery I kid you not a lottery to see who gets sacrificed to the dragon but it has to be a female virgin for some reason I don't know but there was all this cool stuff of like the main character just battling the dragon and like all this epic stuff. And I just kind of, well, just got hypnotized by the movie. Um, there's another story about that move, that time I watched the movie too, but I don't know if I'm ready to share that yet. Um, so, basically that's how I got into science fiction and fantasy, and, well, kind of, sort of, because I was already playing a lot of video games at the time, which were pretty much fantasies. Well, not even pretty much, they are fantasies. <laughs> But, um, I don't know. I just kind of, I, I just kind of always been that nerdy kid who grew up into the nerdy adult that you are now watching crappy videos of. And for that, I thank you. You know. So, I hope you like this vlog. I hope you like at least like the idea of me doing vlogs and uh, this is very this isn't a very interesting video but it's kind of a test to see uh, how you guys would like me doing vlogs and stuff like that 